Nostalgia al estilo Lequona, uh, a composition I wrote in the style of Ernesto Lequona, the Gershwin of Cuba. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> there you go. Cuban music, that whole, it's re really hard. So welcome to tonight's show. Uh, Yes, uh, all songs from An American in Havana, a project I did in, uh, in uh, 2016 after a couple of trips to Cuba. And um, yeah, there's a, there's a reason Cuban music is amazing because it is immense and complex and nuanced and oh my God. And so uh, yeah, it's, it's real good on the record. Uh, you can hear it with uh, cellist uh, Gonzalo Grau who played uh, cello on this recording and did like harmonies and oh, anyway, an American in Havana uh, and more songs from that tonight. Thanks everybody for tuning in um, and welcome to uh, the 3,765th show since the great national lockdown began in March. I'm just making up a number. It feels like a decade, doesn't it? One year, six months, feels like a decade. Um, thank you for tuning in tonight on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. If you're thinking of leaving Facebook, and there are reasons to do so, uh, join us over on YouTube for better audio. Um, thanks to Kelly Lynn Knott, uh, who is making the show go from out there in Minneapolis, and uh, sending love tonight to my home state of Iowa, uh, which is currently experiencing a spike in coronavirus cases. Please be safe. Um, Please mask up and um, hang in there. Boredom is temporary, and I'm here to help. For the first time in my life, I, as an entertainer, am a kind of health care provider, uh, though not, an, not exactly an essential worker. Uh, so tonight, um, uh, we go to Havana. And uh, as you can see here, we have um, ocean and the Cuban flag. And Cuba is complicated. Uh, yes, it deserves Valentine's and it deserves, um, uh, uh, so let me choose a different, let me choose a different green screen for this next song. The Evening. Along the Malacan in Havana. It's lovely tonight neath the Havana moon As that mango balloon the sky rises into the blue play a tune that I know and I'm thinking of you there's lovers tonight on the terrace of the old Inglaterra hotel I know just how much you love Paris but have I tell you there's a magic tonight neath the Havana moon where the saber trees swoon in the breeze of an eternal June how I miss you tonight neath the
There's couples in love Slowly strolling Neath the trees of the Parque Central We had London and all the bells tolling But Havana's got it all Believe me, it's lovely here When I sleep, I keep dreaming a dream We'll be coming here soon I can't wait till we kiss On a night just like this Neath the Havana Moon Havana Moon from an American in Havana. Move to the left, says Kelly. Uh, uh, and uh, yeah, that song has the most beautiful band arrangement on it. Um, and Nikki Denner, amazing piano wizard, a graduate of the University of Minnesota with a degree in Latin music studies. Boy, she played piano beautifully, and uh, she taught me this trick. <laughs> And uh, some of you saw this show when I did the tour and, uh, of, these, uh, of these songs, and uh, you saw Mayra Casales, who was my godmother through the whole project. She was born in Havana. Her family left when she was five, and um, they needed to leave. And uh, yes. Um, and uh, so Mayra was really my guide on, in getting these rhythms right. And she said, this is a bolero. This rhythm is called a bolero. Bolero, like Spanish music. And she played the maracas with that rhythm. And that's a pattern. Bolero is a pattern in traditional Cuban song, which was right around the 50s, 60s, 40s, and uh, Ray Cooter did a project many of you probably heard or saw the film Buena Vista, Social Club, and yeah, boy, I, that had a huge impact on me, and uh, yeah, so this project is my own little Buena Vista uh, Social Club. So tonight we're going to do a little experiment, uh, which we've never done before and may never do again, uh, but to do this, let me select a different background for you, Kel. We're going to put up the lyrics to a song. We're gonna put up the lyrics to a song that never made it onto this record. Uh, there are lots of songs that are left by the wayside in projects like these, and um, uh, this is one of those songs. So this is gonna be in a demo form, uh, which I did on Logic Pro, which is a kind of software. And Kelly, if you would, would you just show us um, a screen? Um, show us the, uh, the screen uh, for this, there we go. So this is a kind of software that I use, Logic Pro. Some people use Pro Tools software. This is Logic Pro, which is just a big version of GarageBand. For those of you who have iPhones, that's what you have on there, GarageBand. It can do something very much like this. And it's tracks of, um, which you'll hear is a demo where I did a synthetic drum part uh, and a fake bass, uh, which is on the keyboard, and then I sang. And um, this song is called El Padrino, which means godfather or spiritual godfather in Spanish, as I understand it. We should really have my sister here to translate the Spanish. But uh, this song is called El Padrino. And let's put those lyrics up. Here we go, Cal. Let's give this a go. Yeah. 
El Padrino said to me. How can I help you today? El Padrino said to me. How long have you felt this way? He said, I can feel your suffering. He said, and your heart is broke. He said, and your soul is heavy. He said, do you mind if I smoke? And I said, no, of course not. El Padrino said to me, He said, may I look at your hands? El Padrino said to me, He said, now I understand. He said, you are prone to sadness. He said, be kind to your thoughts. He said, wear this red thread bracelet. He said, tied with seven tiny knots. Tied with seven tiny knots, always seven, always seven. And I said, why seven? And he said, it's better than six. And then as he sipped his coffee, his face grew quite intense. And then he set up some charcoal and lit up some frankincense. And he said, Breathe in, you have Breathe grieved out. long enough, you have grieved long enough. Breathe in, you have Breathe grieved out. long enough, you have grieved long enough. You have grieved long enough, you have grieved long enough. You have grieved long enough, you have grieved long enough. You have grieved long enough, you have grieved long enough. You are entitled to joy, 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 you are entitled to joy. He said, now be patient with your feelings. He said, I know you will find peace. He said, you do look so much brighter. He said, that will be $40, please. I said, gracias. He said, de nada, cariño. El Padrino said to me, Padrino. Uh. El Padrino, the Godfather. So uh, that song chronicles uh, my 2016 visit to a botanica. A botanica is a kind of, um, how to describe it, uh, for those of you that don't know. Um, a botanica is a kind of combination uh, religious goods store and urgent care clinic. And uh, the one that I went to is on the south side of Chicago. And uh, Kel, put that picture up, if you would, of Eduardo himself. <laughs> there he is. And uh, yeah, he was kind of like Pope Francis meets Groucho Marx. Uh, he was hilarious. And uh, from uh, Cuba, of course, and lives and works on the south side of Chicago. And um, you can find him at botanicaedward.com, botanicaedward.com, and his address 5748 South Pulaski Road. Uh, and uh, there you go, Botanica Edward. Uh, there's something different to try. And um, that song uh, did not make the cut for uh, an American Havana because it seemed kind of subtle and complicated. And, you know, we wanted something, uh, uh, yeah, less subtle and uh, less complicated, and uh, so songs like this happened. Un <laughs> 
cortadito, por favor. Un cortadito, por favor. Porque me gusta el sabor. Un cortadito, por favor. Next time you need a pick me up. Before you fill your coffee cup You ought to give this drink a try Say this to your barista guy Un cortadito por favor Un cortadito por favor Porque me gusta el sabor He'll take the dark espresso beans And grind them down to smithereens And as your coffee starts to brew He'll listen, people This is the secret Listen, people Here is the secret Sugar Three tablespoons of sugar Just like they do in Cuba Enough to make your teeth hurt Three tablespoons of sugar in the bowl And then you'll be amazed as the barista takes The first drops of espresso And he pours it in the bowl And stirs Stirs To caramelize the sugar And it smells so good You'll bust out singing Un cortadito, por favor. Porque me gusta el sabor. Un cortadito, por favor. He'll serve your cup of caramel silk. Quite nicely topped with frothy milk. Take one sip of this finesse And you will die of happiness And your final words were What were they? You know what they were You know And you kind of want one right around three o'clock in the afternoon You want it Un cortadito por favor Sabor. Un cortadito, por favor, un cortadito, un cortadito, por favor, solo un poquito, un cortadito, por favor. And that is a cha cha, certified cha cha, uh, with the assistance of Maida Casales, who is fantastic. Her band is called Coco Mama. Coco Mama, and they're out of New York, and it's all women Latina musicians. They're fabulous, and uh, four of them played on this record. And uh, let's play a track now. Watch your audio here. Watch your audio level. Do you see where your audio level is, friends? Do you see where that is? Okay. We're going to play. Um, uh, let's, let's go to Havana, Cal. Let's, uh, let's get in the car, and uh, let's go on a musical ride. Oh, yeah. So you brought along your girlfriend Your kind of pretty crazy girlfriend What the hell were you thinking? She never stops drinking She talks all the time And now you're running out of money Yeah, you've been running through the money You don't know where it all went And right now you just spent your very last are gone When you're in a 1955 Chevy Bel Air and you're cruising La Petite Oh, world's a wonderful place Yes, it is And 
And you're driving with the top down. You're in the sunshine with the top down. Yeah, you're rolling in a carriage that is the perfect marriage of vinyl and chrome. You got the white walls and the tail fans, the two tone color and the tail fans. Salsa on the AM station. Why end this vacation? Why ever go home? 'Cause when you're in a 1955 Chevy. Care go floating away on the music in your ears. As you roll past La Mella Coiba, your girlfriend gets out and says, "See ya." Yeah, she's over it. She's had enough. You don't care because now you're in love with a Chevrolet. Hey. <laughs> And in that video, right, and in that video, you saw Maida Casales on the congas, you saw Nikki Denner on the piano, uh, you saw Jennifer Vincent on the bass, you saw Pablo Bencid on the timbales. Timbales are the um, timbales are the metal drum, look like a steel drum, but they're they're just a metal rim drum, and they make that sound. Oh man, what a band! And uh, that was great fun to do that record. Great, great fun and to learn all this music. And this, of all the shows I've done, this is the one that scared me the most. And uh, it still scares me because we're not done. Uh, but the musical language is so complicated and so challenging and so rewarding when you get near it. It's fantastic. And part of that is that the beat is turned around. Um, your short lesson on... Here's your short course on Cuban rhythms, right? <clears throat> Oh, when you're in a 1955 Chevy Bel Air and you're cruising the Malacana. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. There's nothing on one. And there's nothing on three. There's a gap. In that way, it's like reggae. Um, Something's missing in a way that, I guess, to our American ears, or my American ears anyway, there's something missing. We're used to like kick, kick, snare, kick, kick, snare, kick, snare, right? There's nothing on one and three, right? One, two, three, four. It took me a month to learn how to play that guitar the other way around. That's why Gloria Estefan sings, turn the beat around. Right? You are actually, for Americans, we are turning the beat around. And uh, that's part of the great fun of this music. Another part of the great fun of this music. Uh, hi, Crit Harmon. Thanks for tuning in. Crit Harmon helped to uh, mix and master that record, An American in Havana. Another part of Cuban music, to just show you, I don't want to go on about this um, because I'm not good enough to do it, but. Um, <laughs> Fifth 
55 Chevy Bel Air on your right. Da, 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 boom, boom. I can't even play the bass and the left hand at the same time, but it's called a montuno, montuno. And it's that part. Oh, your troubles are gone. Crazy, right? So the piano is a percussion instrument, and then there's three different pieces playing the rhythm, congas, uh, claves also, which are, claves are the heart of Cuban music. Uh, what did we learn as kids? Shave, haircut, two bits. Shave, haircut, two bits. That's the clave part. I'm doing it wrong. It's turned around, but claves are that part, the little wooden sticks. And the montuno is the piano, and then um, the timbales are all going, ah, oh my God, it's just the most luscious music. It's, it's some of the world's I'm, I'm making an argument for it, but it's some of the world's most beautiful music. And uh, yeah, so there's your short course in Cuban music. Maybe listen to some Kelvis Ochoa, if you'd like to hear more of that tonight. Kelvis, like Elvis with a K. Just even do that, Kelvis and Cuba, and you'll find the music of Kelvis Ochoa. Mm, let's, show, uh, let's show the next uh, Malacon video there. And again, watch your audio levels, folks. We're trying to manage several different technologies here. But... <laughs> Te gusta mucho. Te gusta mucho, Cuba. Eh? That's what he said. And uh, you hear my Spanish accent. You hear my, Sp my attempt at Spanish with an Iowan accent there. Like, eh, se, me gusta. <laughs> so there you were driving on the Malacan, uh, and uh, what you saw were uh, a 1949 Pontiac, I think. You saw a Lada, which is a car made in Russia. Moscovich, also a Russian car. Um, they were uh, in Cuba. It is the Jose Marti International Airport in Havana has got to be the world's most interesting parking lot. You have Russian cars, you have Polish cars, you have a few BMWs and Mercedes, you have American new cars, you have American vintage cars because they've been preserved because mother, right, necessity is the mother of invention. Keeping those things running uh, is an art form in itself. And, um, just, if you love cars, one day you'll have to go to Cuba. And it really is not very, not very far away. Not very far away. Cuba is the smell of diesel and cigarettes. Cuba is a young boy fishing as the sun sets. Cuba is the taste of sugar cane so sweet. Cuba is the sound of muted trumpet down the street. Cuba 
Cuba is the ancient tower of a Spanish fort, a game of soccer on a basketball court, a farmer with two oxen and a plow, a hine terror drawing a black pencil across her brow. Cuba is a crumbling mess. Cuba is a true work of art. Cuba is sure to blow your mind. Cuba is sure to break your heart. Cuba is an old man riding bicycle in the rain. A young woman leaving for Miami on a plane. A revolution's final fading hope. An older woman begging for a bar of soap. Cuba is only 90 miles away. Cuba is an entire world apart. Cuba is sure to blow your mind. Cuba is sure to break your heart in pieces. But something in your soul releases. When the colors hit your eye of the water and the sky And the clothes hung out to dry and the wind and the sun All the greens and blues and yellows As you hear the distant echoes Of a singer singing songs for everyone With a voice that's only his Cuba is Cuba is a mural of Che Guevara painted on a wall on the wall of a building about to fall Cuba is the taste of mommy fruit so sweet And the sound of muted trumpet down the street But in Cuba is Cuba is Cuba is Cuba is from an American in Havana and uh, yeah that song makes mention of the colors and uh, yeah, it's one of the things that I'm sure that those of you who went with me on the fan club cruise, wasn't that fun? Thanks to Donald Davidoff and everybody who put that together, fan club cruises. That was really fun. A hundred plus of you came with to Havana in uh, February of 2019, was it? When did we go? 2019? And... Um Boy, that was just, it was great to have you with me and introduce you to a city that I feel like I know my way around a little bit anyway. Yeah, Cuba is all of those things, isn't it? For those of you that have been there. Complicated, es complicado, Cuba. Um, uh, and complicado is the music, is the rhythm of Cuba. Play for you a track now from, uh, uh, from an American in Havana. I'm gonna play you the track and uh, have you listen along and just listen to the amazing rhythms of this thing. And uh, yeah, shout out to Crit Harmon who mixed this. You'll hear right and left stuff panned, and that's how it is when you're in the room with, with a, um, a Cuban rhythm section. It's just so much humanity going on, so much. Um, uh, here's a track from an American in Havana. Here we go, Kel, I'll play it.
stray dogs of Cienfuegos, Cuba. They will follow you all afternoon and they won't ask for much. The stray dogs of Cienfuegos, Cuba. All they want, all they want is just someone to love. her name by the girl at the Prado Cafe. Canela will do tricks if you ask her. She will sit and roll over and stay. Oh, but nobody's asked her today. The stray dogs of Cienfuegos, Cuba. They will follow you all afternoon and they won't ask for much. The stray dogs Fuegos Cuba All they want All they want is just someone to love My Lolo Is a fierce black chihuahua He was given his name By the old man who fixes up shoes My Lolo Likes to bark at the tourists Try to pet him And he will refuse Cause my Lolo remembers the Canela, Manolo, and the girl at the Prado Cafe, and the old man who fixes up shoes, and the writer with paper and pen, writing all of them into a song. All they want, all they want is to belong to someone. Stray Dogs of Cienfuegos from an American in Havana. The stray dogs, lots of stray dogs in Cuba, um, in part because they don't neuter and spay them. Uh, very few get neutered and spayed, and so there are so many stray dogs. Um, and uh, they tell part of the story of what Cuba is. Um, landing at the airport uh, from Miami, coming into Havana Airport, um, I remember landing the first time and you could see grass through the concrete on the tarmac, on the runway, which is a, and then <laughs> the plane comes to a halt and like a dog walks across the runway. <laughs> oh my God, could have hit the dog and that would have been bad for dog and plane. Uh, lots of dogs in Cuba, and some are cared for, but some <laughs> live rough lives. Uh, so the stray dogs, and you heard the, oh, oh my God, the, mm. people talk about food and flavor and subtle flavor to musicians and musical, deeply musical people. Um, this music is like a catnip, just can't resist it, such subtle, yummy 
Uh, uh, now let's uh, show the Olympic feet in a short video. Watch your audio here. Um, but Kelly, if you would, let's uh, play the short clip of why American singer-songwriters, uh, we sit down and play. Watch this guy. Watch this. Watch your audio. Try playing a guitar, singing, and doing the salsa at the same time. Like, okay, right? Let's see that, Bob Dylan. Let's see that. Let's see that. Let's see that. Whole nother level of what? What? Uh, here's, a, here's, a, here's a song that did not make the cut onto the record. And uh, yeah, it just, it, I, I think this song is just too dumb. Um, this song is just too dumb. Okay. One evening at a club in Vadado. I heard music like we don't got in L.A. or Chicago. I heard a band with trombone, percussion, and drums. Then somebody said, here he comes. And the entire place started going crazy. Ramon, and suddenly everyone's dancing. Ramon, and watching that good-looking man sing. Ramon and everyone's up on their feet and looking for someone to meet. I almost passed out in the heat. Oh my God, oh my God. Uh. A black t shirt stretched tight over his muscles, delicious to his very corpuscles. That smile, those sunglasses over his eyes, those jeans painted over his thighs. I swear then and there that I ovulated. Sing Ramon. Ramon, and suddenly everyone's dancing. Ramon, and watching that good looking man sing. Ramon, and everyone's up on their feet. Looking for someone to meet I almost passed out in the heat Oh my God, oh my God And this is how he danced This is how Ramon danced This is how everybody in the club Was dancing la 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 Uno, dos, tres, cinco, Uno, dos, tres, cinco, seis, siete If you would like to, if you would like to get up, get up out of your chair, do it. Get up. Get on up. And I will attempt in my own square Iowa way to teach you salsa. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Left. Left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, 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 left, right. Enjoy your pelvis. Enjoy your pelvis. No one has said that this entire national lockdown. But enjoy your pelvis, America. Here we go. Ramon, go see him when you're in Havana. Ramon, his kid sister plays the piano and she's hot too. Ramon gets everyone up on their feet and looking for someone.
someone to meet You'll almost pass out in the heat Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God Ramon Another element of Cuban music to point out It's called anticipated bass Bass note lands before the downbeat. So the downbeat is empty, same as that other rhythm I showed you earlier. Anticipated bass. And our bodies desire to put the beat together with all of the things we're hearing. That's what makes us dance. It's brilliant. It is some of the most amazing music in the world, Cuban music. And uh, yes, they have it in Havana. Yes, they have it in Little Havana in Miami. And uh, one day maybe you will go to Havana. Um, and uh, one day maybe you'll go to Havana. And in 2016, I went twice, and then I went again in 2019. And I just want to show you, or I just want to mention something that went by in the video um, uh, with the driver earlier. And did you see that he had, did you see that he had a American flag air freshener? That was, yes, it was an air freshener, like tree, right? <laughs> the, the, the shape of a tree, but the colors and the pattern was the United States. It wasn't Cuba, it was actually the United States. You can see all the stars in there. There was great excitement in Cuba at that time uh, because some motion had begun between the United States and Cuba. Economic activity had begun. And um, I want to show you something on my green screen here. This is the Capi Capitolio, the capital of Havana, capital of Cuba. And it is modeled after another capital, our capital. And the thing about Cuba is, Cuba's amazing, it's fascinating. It's complicated, it doesn't really work. Um, economically, the infrastructure is for crap. Um, um, there is much sadness. As my tour manager Jane said, when we went to Havana on the cruise, she said, we were having a lot of fun, but I'm not sure the people there were having a lot of fun. It's hard, life is hard in Cuba because the government doesn't really work. It doesn't really work for the people. And, um, uh, uh, we, um, you know, we, uh, we want to hang on to our democracy. What I want to say is when we flew back from Havana, one, one of the planes I was on, when we left Havana, when we landed in Miami, everyone applauded. Everyone on the plane broke out into applause when we landed in Miami. No one applauded upon landing in Havana. It tells you something. Um, and uh, thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Uh, next week will be um, uh, all S Susan Werner request night, um, all songs by the composer named Susan Werner who will have her act together by, ne <laughs> by next Sunday to play some of those songs for you and perform them right. Uh, and uh, um, thank you all for tuning in tonight uh, for an American in Havana. Um, and uh, I will play you out with a little bit of that first song you heard, um, which uh, still to me sums up something about um, how Havana feels. Oh.